Hello everyone, this is Angela from Creative Crafting again. I've got a tutorial for you this time. Um, I'm going to use my Eclipse machine and the new Sure Cuts A Lot program for the Eclipse. I've never, I just got it for Christmas, so I haven't really played around with it that much. Um, haven't cut anything with it, so we're going to see if it cuts, how it does. And we're going to do a Valentine's Day card with this one. So let me remove the mat. And this is what I created. I just took a scalloped heart and then I welded it on one side and created an extra layer. The one in red, the one in red right here, obviously you can see on the right. And that way, because when I fold it over, it won't be like a perfect heart in the middle. So um, we're going to see how this is all going to fit together. So I'm going to go ahead then and swing you over to the Eclipse. Just a second here, let me loosen this up. There's my Imagine back there, of course. All right, okay. Now, all right, so let's start here. I'm gonna load the mat in, and I am just using some paper that I got at Tuesday morning. It was a pack of like, I don't know, like 50 sheets of 12 by 12 different color papers. Um, so I'm going to load the mat. And you just line it up just like you do with the Cricut. And it reads it and then lines it up. So let's see if we can. We're going to cut this. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to, let's see, probably hide I'm gonna turn. Yes, I can do that. I will hide the red heart, so it'll just cut that, and then go back, hide the other one, just like you do with your gypsy. If you have a gypsy, I don't know. Okay, so let me move this around. All right. Okay. There we go. All right, so I will zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this has layers right over here Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing okay these are the layers that we're working with we're going to keep the two black ones because that's what we've welded and then we're going to hide with the eye here hide the red one and it's just not there and we want it back we click it back and just like I said just like with your gypsy so let's go to the cutter and let's do I think I'm gonna do laser cut preview so we can see exactly where it's going to cut. So I'm going to swing you back over here, zoom back out again. I know, sorry, it's a little annoying, um, but I just want to show you everything that I'm doing so we don't miss out on anything. Uh, let's get a little bit more light over here. There. Okay. All right. So let's see how it does with the laser preview. And you can see it so it's showing you exactly where it's gonna cut and then when that's done we'll actually cut I just want to make sure it's gonna fit in the parameters that I set and not try to go over the edge or over where somewhere where it's not supposed to okay so now that's working great um, we are going to actually cut all right let's see here Okay, with Sizzix Eclipse, right? Okay, um, and then I'll swing you back to the computer so you can see what I'm doing. Just in case you decide you want to get this machine. And if you do want to get this machine, um, All My Crafts is the cheapest for this machine that I found. Um, I actually got it for my birthday. Um, cardstock M, that's, M means medium. Um, and that's what this is. It's a medium weight cardstock. Um, cut mode normal. Auto blade. And you can increase the speed and the pressure. It's a little thicker. So I'm going to go just a little bit over to four. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and cut. And let's see how it does for us. Alright. 
Here it goes. Let's see if it's really going to do what we tell it to do. It looks like it is. Which I'm very excited about. I was really worried about this. I own the other Shortcuts A Lot program. And I was really hoping to not have to buy another program when I got this. But because of the laser, that's why they had to reissue it. So, and I like, I like the laser feature, so. All right. And now we're going to, we're unloaded. So, this is what we got. And there's the, both the welded hearts. So I'm going to take it off. One thing when I first got my mats, they were really, really, really sticky. So like I almost had a hard time getting my stuff off of it. So, but it wasn't a problem for me. I like really sticky mats. And it just means I have to re-stick them less, off, less often. All right. So I'm going to get the pattern paper that I want to use for the the top layer for that. Um, I'm actually going to come over here to my desk real quick and trim this paper. It won't take me but a second. Right. I'm trying to, I'm using this pattern paper from Die Cuts with a View. It's got two little cupids on it and I'm trying to have that be like the main focus of the heart but we'll see if it works out that way all right okay all right let me pop it on the mat all right so we're going to assuming it's going to cut in the upper right hand corner so we'll see if it does this is the paper that i'm using Look at those cherubs, they're so pretty and glittered up. I just thought that would look great with that card. Okay, so let's swing back over to the computer. I'm going to show you. We're going to hide the two hearts and bring back the other heart. Just the single heart for the top layer. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that now. Um, let me see, are you in frame there? No, not really. Sorry about the zooming in and out. I know it's annoying. Alright. So now I'm going to bring, oops, that's lock, sorry. Bring that back and we're going to hide both of these layers. So I am assuming that this is going to cut in the right spot and it better because I only have one sheet of paper on there. So I'm going to put it over here. Let me move this out of the way because I can't really see where it is. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit and then I am going to do use my laser preview. That's what's so nice about this machine. You put your stuff on, you don't waste paper by cutting it first and then realizing, oh, I had it in the wrong spot. So let's go back to the Sizzix. All right, okay. Let's go back to the Sizzix machine and I'm going to load it. Didn't catch it in time. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to, we're going to laser that so we can see if it's going to cut where we put our paper in the right spot. Okay. All right. So let's go to uh, cutter laser preview. And let's see what it does. If it goes to the right spot. Oh, see? It was way too far. If I would have cut that, I would have messed up my paper. And that was that is my last sheet of that paper. And I really wanted to use that. So, yeah, I would have been really mad. I would have been very mad at myself. All right, let's go over. All right, now let's try the laser preview again. Cut. Laser cut preview. Let's try this again. Let's see what we get. No, nope, still too far over. Alright. Mm -mm. Nope. So we're going to move it way over, it looks like. Alright, so do it again. Duh. See, and I would 
I would have kept putting paper on. I would have been so frustrated without that laser preview. I am so happy to have that. And now it's right exactly where I want it to be. So basically about an inch and a quarter off, I'm guessing. And it looks like my cherubs are in the right place. So that's, that's exciting. Um, I'm going to go down just a little tiny bit. I just want to be 100% sure it's going to fit and not be messed up. You can use these too. Um, these icons work the same way. Um, this paper's got glitter on it, so mm, I'm probably going to go a little bit, yeah, with a five, so, and let's cut. And now, hopefully, everything will go right where it's supposed to. It's cutting right where I want it to. So that's exciting. Right in the center. All right, so now it's all out. And this is what we have. This is our image all cut out, all our glittery. And I'll show you the stack that I'm using. It's actually a V-Mine stack. It's a Valentine stack, I think not from last year, but the year before. Um, they do still have it at Joann's because I just saw it there the other day. So if you're interested, you can pick that up. Well, let me take this off the mat so we can see what it's gonna look like. Okay. All right. Just taking it out of the paper, and like I said, this is glitter paper, and this paper is very, very, very hard to cut, and it cut wonderfully for me. And there's the cover. So I'm going to put this together, and then it's going to fit just perfectly, just like that. It's going to be multi-layered just like that and I will be back in a minute all right we're back and we I went ahead and put just put a quick little card together with what we did and this is what we came up with Let me zoom out a little bit there we go I put some um, jelly bean soup red and white twine on there just because it is Valentine's Day and then I stamped Love Struck, which was a um, dollar stamp I just got from Joann's. And then this super glittery paper. So I will be passing this on to someone really special. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and come back soon for more videos to follow. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.